This is the Enforcer, a design whose concept revolves around heavy artillery and infinite flight. If you're just here for the parts list, check the timestamps, but if you want the full explanation, stick around. When it comes to ACs, I like to build interesting designs that revolve around specific playstyles or unique concepts, rather than just the typical dual chain guns and songbirds. First, I want to show you the build in action in a multiplayer 1v1 match and a small segment of single player just to show you the proof of concept. Then we'll get into the build itself as well as the explanation of how it works. Of course, you're more than welcome to watch this video and make your own, but a quick reminder that if you want the Enforcer with its custom paint and decals, and to save yourself the effort of having to build it yourself, members to the channel will gain access to the members-only schematic and emblem pages in Discord, where I'll share all of my schematics and emblems if you want to gain access to my specific builds. But first up is Multiplayer.
and from there we're going to move into a quick snippet of single player. Feel free to skip through it if you just want to get to the build. Here's the general overview of the build itself. Our main arm weapons are the Dizzy Grenade Launcher, which we use for its giant blast radius and heavy recoil. For our back units, we use the Earshot for the same reason. Max attack power, max blast radius, and heavy recoil. For our head, we use the VP44D for its high armor and stability. For the core, the VE40A, again for its really high armor, while the arms of the Tian Lao, again you don't need that much firing specialization with the high blast radius. And the legs are the high armor VE42A. Your boosters are the Kikaku, which have amazing assault boost energy consumption. For SCS, the 21B, since we'll be firing from above at long range. And for your generator, the Aorta, what makes it all possible due to its post-recovery EN supply, which means we can drain our generator dry, and in a few seconds, we'll get about 75% of our energy bar back. For expansions, we're using terminal armor, both for just survivability as well as last-ditch efforts to get in close with those grenade launchers, because they can and will kill an AC in just a few shots. From there, we're going to move into the training room, just to talk more specifically about how this design works. You'll typically start out the match by assault boosting into the air, either at an angle or almost straight up. I usually go forward towards my opponent, but with a really high altitude. Once you run out of energy, you'll have a few seconds before it recovers to about 75%. That's where the high recoil of these grenade launchers really plays a role. Once you run out of energy, you'll want to shoot one to two times just to give it a chance to recover, and then you'll still be in midair by the time it finishes. You can also feel free to assault boost up and then just hover in the air firing off a few shots, but make sure to save yourself one to two shots just to give your energy a chance to recover. You'll also see throughout the video that a lot of times, even if my opponent's not in front of me, I'll end my assault boost with a kick, and that's because it gives you just a little bit of extra time of floating in the air for your energy to recover without you losing any altitude. Another important thing to note is you don't actually have to use your grenade launchers at all to maintain infinite flight. As long as you get enough height, you'll be able to boost again before you hit the ground. So while there's a few ways in the game to achieve infinite flight, this specific build relies on the recoil of those grenade launchers, as well as the interplay with the Kikaku boosters and Aorta generator to make it all work. But that wraps up this build video. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the build. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more build videos and other AC6 content. And if you want access to the specific schematic of the Enforcer, as well as any schematics past and future and emblem designs I make as well, you can become a channel member at any level. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.